chapter 1 general rules so first things first you are required to build a line follower robot that needs to complete three rounds of a track that will be provided by IRC the race will take place based on timing point number two your robot may use any form of movement to move following a line it may walk roll crawl or drive along the given track point number three the track will be provided by us IRC point number four you may use any form of electronic circuitry or mechanical arrangement to make or build the robot as long as it serves the purpose of the championship. Point number five, to register for the competition, you need to download the Vidblocks app, enter your details and pay the registration fees. Upon successful registration, the IRC team will send you the track to your address, which is to be used both for the practice and performance of your competition. Chapter two, the robot. The size of the robot must be such that it should fit inside a box of dimensions 300 mm by length, 300 mm by breadth and 300 mm by height. The robot must not be powered by AC mains directly or indirectly. The robot may use any of the following sources of power, a battery, a solar cell, a power bank. The source of power must be part of the robot and you are not allowed to hold any part of the robot when it is traveling along the track. The robot may walk, roll, crawl or drive along the track to complete the task. The robot must be completely autonomous and must not be controlled by any form of wireless system. Chapter 3 The Task You will have a total of 3 chances. In each chance, your robot is required to complete one round of the track provided. The robot starts from the position marked Start Here. You may choose in which direction your robot will start its course. A single round is considered to be completed when the robot has successfully started from the start here position, completed the course without any intervention from you and crossed the two red dots on the track. Before the timer is turned on, the robot needs to be in a passive position. It means it should remain stationary in its position. However, depending upon your design, the robot's battery may or may not be switched on. The judges will turn on the timer. When the timer is turned on, you are allowed to physically activate the robot. Once the robot is activated, you are not allowed to touch the robot. It may happen that the robot may get lost from its path or may even stop owing to some technical faults. In such a scenario, you are required to request a timeout to the judges. During timeout, you are allowed to remove the robot from the track, repair it and then place it on the start here position irrespective of its original position. The judges will stop the timer the moment the robot has successfully completed three rounds of the track you have a maximum of 3 minutes per chance to complete the task. The least time recorded by you out of your 3 chances shall be called as your best time. The participant with the least time will be declared as a winner. Chapter 4 Tiebreaker In case of a tie between two participants, the participants are required to re-perform the entire task once with one inclusion. During the tie break, when the timer is off, your robot must be disconnected from all the wires that it may have. When the timer is turned on, you are required to complete all the wire connections and then turn on the robot from the start here position. The timer will turn off when the robot successfully completes 3 rounds. No limit of 3 minutes in tiebreaker. The participant with the best time during the tiebreaker wins.